An archaeologist calculated how many people lived in a pit house with a floor area of 63 meters squared. He divided this area by four and said 15.75 people. This is incorrect. What mistakes did this person make? Select all that apply. Choice A reads, diameter of pit house not used. Not using a diameter is not really a mistake because diameter is used to find the area. And the area is already given, so there's no, there's no need to find the diameter. So this is not a correct mistake. Choice B, number of people not rounded. So if an archeologist said, they think that 15.75 people live in the home, it's kind of silly. We shouldn't talk about decimal numbers when we're talking about number of people. So this is a mistake. But then again, you can kind of see where he or she got this number from. You take the area 63, you divide it by four, assuming that everyone's an adult, and we get 15.75. So this number is kind of an innocent mistake. 15.75 is a number that came about with some logic, but we really shouldn't be rounding this number. Now let's focus on C, age of occupants not considered. So when you pick this number, 15.75, that's assuming that these people are adults, but we're not considering whether the people are children. We cannot assume that everyone's an adult. So choice C could be correct. Let's focus on choice D, gender of occupants not considered. Given the context of this problem, even referring to this information of these pictures on the side, there's no mention of gender. And we have no evidence that males or females require more space, one over the other. So therefore, we're going to say that this is not a mistake. Similar to choice C, we could choose this. Assumed only single adults live there. That's exactly what we've been talking about. And choice F, fire pit and ladder space not considered. So in this calculation, there is no mention for the fact that there should be a little bit of space for the fire pit and ladder. So this calculation is a bit too simplistic. So according to the answer key, choice B was a must. But the good news is if a student chooses any of the other correct uh, mistakes, C, E, and F, there to receive a full mark on question number 12.